just been a very wet day. Aha, uh -huh, very wet day indeed. Now, I'll tell you what I'm thinking about talking a little bit about tonight, Kareem. With right. everything that's happening in the world, usually when there is a crisis, people yes. turn back to God. Uh -huh. You see, and what I was thinking about all the agnostics and all the atheistic people, there must be God, otherwise why would these people be saying they object to him and there isn't? So we need the atheists and the agnostics to tell us what it is they don't believe in. Do you see where I'm coming from? Yes, I'm, I'm atheist, Scotty. Yes, um, yes. Now, was, that's not a problem at all. There's no, this is not judgmental. This is uh, us getting to the bottom of sort of an ancient mystery, if you like. Well, for me, I don't think God is what we perceive it to be. Yes, it um, or he I, or she or whatever. Yeah, I think it's like a process you're sitting in your chair just now, your brain is sending electrical impulses to the muscles for you to sit upright. And that's a process. And I feel the Big Bang, when it was the start of all these chemicals that came together, that was the start of the creation of the universe. That was the creation of worlds, galaxies. You can call that God, because that, through that, that is how life for me has developed. Not just on this planet, but let's be honest, on other planets there will be some forms of life, whether they're at our stage, um, or as a beasties and insect stage, or advanced technological stages. But for me, that's what I think God is. It's a, it's, it's a source, it's an energy, it's not an entity where we can sit down, have a conversation, and, you know, with like superpowers that you see in films, etc. So you tend to, to, to be more towards the scientific. You're looking for scientific evidence, chemical evidence, physical evidence of, uh, of what's going on. I think if, if we were to say what if God, if we have proof of energy. And there's lots of documentaries about on the world about different parts of the world where there's a real high concentration of energy. And that, to me, is something I think, if we want to think of God, it's a, it's a form, it's a process. So God and is an energy source in that it could be kinetic energy, it could be heat, it could be anything you like. It could be a type of energy we don't know about yet. I mean, we don't know that much about dark matter within space, you know, but that's a, is that not like a form of energy as well? I don't, I'm not sure.